find it really weird seeing women who are constantly talking about their boyfriends, about their relationships or whatever. Who are you trying to convince this, us or you? And I was just like, what in the, what, what is this? But what is the problem? Who hurt you? We just don't like seeing other black people happy. We don't like seeing other black people successful if we're not. We don't like seeing them happy if we're not. Why? Is it because we grew up not seeing that? We equate love or some sort of form of black love with struggle and trauma. That seeing people genuinely happy in relationships and with their partners as an issue. Really? Why must there be something wrong when you are watching people love on each other or express the love that they have for their partners? Why must there be something wrong there? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is me, it is Katleo Malela. So excited to have you here. Um, today's conversation is very different to what I normally do, but I felt the need to have this chat, okay? And I think it's really important that we do have this chat because I saw something trending over the week and a couple of days ago and uh, if you're not south african you might be a little bit like what what is she talking about so we've got this great couple in south africa they they really celebrities at this point and um they 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 seem like wonderful people and we love that for them but i wanted us to have the chat about um black love right and why we seem to have such a huge problem with black couples loudly and boldly professing and projecting their love for their spouse or their girlfriend or whatever online or on social media platforms. Now, this was spurred on by the Dr. Musa situation. And I don't, I don't want to talk about the backstories and whatever. The purpose of this conversation is when are we actually going to have the conversation about what is the problem? What is the issue with black people, especially witnessing other black people or other black couples love on their partner and show them affection and love publicly, whether on Instagram, Twitter, uh, rah, 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 you know, all these social media platforms. What is the problem with seeing that? Because a lot of the comments that came from um, someone who had taken a screenshot of Dr. Musa prof professing his love and his attraction, really, and his, you know, complimenting of his wife on her social media. People got mad. <laughs> People got mad, mad. Like some girl said, if ever a guy were to profess his love uh, to me like this, I would never be with him. Steer me away from these kinds of guys. And in my head, I'm like, what is the problem with that? And if you think about society and you think about history, time, all of that, we've seen it a lot with couples and other races, okay? People of other races professing their love and projecting how they feel about their partners and people online. But for some reason, we seem to have a problem with it when it comes to black people. And it's crazy because it is the black people themselves that uh, seem to have the biggest issue with it. And this is not the first time this is happening, especially in the case of um, Dr. Musa and his wife. It's not the first time that it's happening. It's happened before many times where people have tried to call him out for just loving his wife. And the reason why I wanted to come on here and have that conversation is that it's not necessarily to them particularly but why have we adopted this 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 line of 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 just really negative thinking when it comes to watching other couples profess their love for each other online it's really weird and people seem to have found an issue with it because it was a man doing that for his wife 
or his partner or whatever. Whereas a lot of the time they seem to, you know, what society has shown us is that a lot of the time it's women who, who, you know, profess their love, their undying love and whatever. But even when women do that too, other women seem to have an issue with that. I read a tweet where someone was saying, um, uh, a post on Twitter or X where someone was saying that, um, yeah, no, I could, she was commenting on someone else's post that it's, it's so weird. I find it really weird seeing women who are constantly talking about their boyfriends, about their relationships or whatever, who are you trying to convince this, us or you? And I was just like, what in the, what, what is this? But what is the problem? Who hurt you, right? So my thing is, who hurt you, right? So I put it on my Instagram and I was like, you know what, guys? I really would love your opinion on this. Let's have a chat about it. And let's actually talk about why black people seem to have such an issue or such a problem with other black people professing their love for their partners online. Um, why? Where do you think it stems from? Where does it come from? And man, did I get a ton of responses, which I'm going to read out now. But before I do that, I wanted to give my own personal response and before I look at those ones, right? So I got quite a lot of them, but I didn't really read through them. And my whole thing was, I personally believe that one, black on black hate, especially when it comes to this, specifically when it comes to this, we just don't like seeing other black people happy. We don't like seeing other black people successful if we're not. We don't like seeing them happy if we're not. Honestly, because there must be an element of you that is really, really unhappy within yourself. Not them. This has nothing to do with them. You are projecting whatever it is that you are feeling on yourself or about yourself or about your life or about your relationship that. You, you you just look at behavior like that and you don't like it. For some reason, it's strange to you. It's a strange behavior. Then you, then I went back and thought about how when we were growing up, we never saw this kind of behavior from our parents. We never saw this kind of behavior from other black grown-up couples, right? Where there was a large amount of uh, public displays of affection and holding hands and kissing in public and literally doting on your partner or speaking about the things that your partner has done for you and, and, and being vocal and loud and proud about it. We never saw things like that growing up, right? And now we're starting to see it quite a lot now with the younger generation who is enjoying themselves and having a good time with their partners and all of this and want to talk about it and want to show it and want to compliment their people online and all of that and don't have a problem about hiding their relationship or being secretive about their relationships. We seem to have some sort of issue with that. And my whole chat is why? Why? Is it because we grew up not seeing that? Is it because we equate love, black love, right? We equate love or some sort of form of black love with struggle and trauma. That seeing people genuinely happy in relationships and with their partners as an issue. We see something like that as a problem. Like something must be wrong. Oh no, he's definitely overcompensating for something. Oh no, he's definitely hiding something. Why is he doing, he's doing too much. Why is he doing all this work? Why is he projecting all of this? Really? Really? Why must there be something wrong when you are watching people love on each other or express the love that they have for their partners? Why must there be something wrong there? I don't get it. We've seen it so many times from so many races that I don't get it. And it's crazy because this spans as well into the literary world. I read a lot. Hello, they're the books, right? I read a lot and a lot of Pan-African, but a lot of Pan-African literature, even though 
the story is romance and it's a romance novel, there is a lot of struggle and trauma in there. And authors have taken to writing about that. As much as you want there to be a huge focus on the fact that certain things happen in, in, in black relationships, right? Abuse and, and, and any form of kind of trauma, you know, substance abuse and this and this, which in turn ends up impacting the relationship. But it's become so prevalent I was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day and I said, I'm getting so sick and tired of reading African literature because even when I'm reading a romance novel, there's some sort of struggle or trauma or, 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 or hatred or distrust, disdain, whatever you want to use that comes across so vividly in all these stories that why can't we just have a romance novel of black people just loving on each other? goes back to exactly what I was saying earlier on. Why is it so hard to witness or to see a black couple loving on each other? No, they're definitely hiding something. No, they're definitely overcompensating for something. There's something that is lacking. They're hiding something. What are they hiding? What is so wrong about being outwardly, boldly, loud and proud about how you love your partner or how you're attracted to them or how they are your rock and they, your pillar of strength and how you believe and trust in them and, 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 and amen, you hyping them up. What is wrong with a man being his woman's biggest hype man? Loudly. On social platforms. What is wrong with that? I also personally think it goes back to jealousy. You don't have that. You don't have that. You don't have that. Every single relationship you have been in came with a certain type of trauma, struggle, stress. Okay? And that's unfortunate. It's not even entirely your fault. Sometimes it could be. Who knows? Who cares? That's not why we're here today. Right. But my whole chat is none of the relationships you have been in. You've had someone love you like that loudly like that. That when you look at it, it seems so foreign to you. You're jealous. That's all it is. Why can other people look at these couples? Right. Let me, let me drink my water, child, because this is a hot topic. <laughs> right. Why can other couples or other people look at these couples and go, oh my gosh, I want to love like that. Or, oh my God, they are so cute. Someone even try to blame it on, 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 or, 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 or put the blame rather. Yeah, blame it or on Liesl, on the wife. To say, what, why isn't she saying anything? Why isn't she blah, blah, blah. I'm not about to have a and some of us express our love differently. Some of us express our love privately. Some of us want to express our love loudly and boldly. And where is the problem in that? You know? So some of us express ourselves and our love loudly, boldly, proudly. And some of us do it internally, behind closed doors. Where is the problem in that? I actually don't see it. So I was quite perplexed and also at the same time, I was very, very disheartened and saddened because this should be what we should be seeing. This is exactly what we should be seeing from black couples. This is what we want our children to see. We want our children to see mom and dad kiss each other in the kitchen and dance together in the kitchen and kiss each other goodbye and do all of these wonderful things. This is what we want to see from our parents. This is what we should be seeing. This is what we should be learning about what love is, how it should feel and how it should look. So why are we having a problem by seeing it amongst young people? I think Liesl and, 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 and Dr. Musa, probably around my age or maybe a little bit younger, I don't know. But like, I'm thinking to myself, what is the problem here? This is beautiful to witness. So what if you don't express your love that way? So what? 
you have your own special way of expressing your love, right? You do. So what if you don't express yours that way? Why should Dr. Musa be ostracized, uh, negatively spoken about, completely just demeaned and, 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 and just people just being vulgar and just the debauchery around it is just wild to me. Why people do that? Why people say such things? I think personally, we just grew up witnessing struggle love, right? We witness struggle love with our parents. One parent is working, one isn't. They're fighting all the time. We witnessed our parents hitting, you know, our dads hitting our moms. We witnessed this, that, and the other. We witnessed really difficult things growing up for so many of us that we can't wrap our heads around the fact that this can be what love is should feel and look like why i didn't get it i'm just like this man is loving on his woman what is the problem just because we're not supposed to say so doesn't want to walk around in public holding your hand why are we seeing right what dr musa is doing is wrong and why are we seeing that there must be something wrong with Liesl if she's not responding? What if Liesl will respond uh, in her own personal, private way behind closed doors? So? It doesn't mean she hasn't. She's, she's happy. She's radiating. Do you understand? She's glowing, that woman. Okay? I'll, I'll put up a picture of them so you can see. She's glowing. She's happy. Then people even went even further and, and, and just, just dug out the dirt and the grime and the everything by wanting to mention Liesl's previous relationships. Why? This is her husband. It's not a boyfriend, girlfriend, this. How do you think this is meant to make these people feel? It's wild to me. You guys are not used to seeing black people happy. Or you don't want to see black people happy, especially in their relationships. Why? I think it's, it's largely boils down to jealousy and the fact that we have not been exposed to this really unadulterated, pure, seamless, true, authentic kind of love that is loud and bold and proud about it. We have not been exposed to that. And because we haven't, we seem to have a problem with it. So let's read what you guys have said. I just wanted to, to, to share my pointers and let's hear what you guys said. We need to heal. We've been hurt. Therefore, we think the same will happen to others. Absolutely. I think it's something, it says a lot about you to sit and be negative about a husband loving on his wife. Loudly, it says a lot about you. Botata Bukai, how can we help you? How can we help you? Jealousy plays a big part in this. I said that because they think a black man is only good at cheating. Why have we equated black men and cheating that we can't witness goodness in black men when they're loving on their wives? I don't know. We never saw love and action growing up. Love was never romantic, but more dutiful. I love that response. I love that response. I don't know. My camera is flashing, so I really can't go through all of these, but I would love to know what your thoughts are. Please let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video uh, and you'd like me to give you more videos on just giving my thoughts on certain things, let me know. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you for choosing me over and over again. Until the next video, I'm going to go. Until then, sayonara.